హలో మై డే స్టూడెంట్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు అవర్ ఛానల్ రాజేష్ బయాలజీ అండ్ ఎం రాజేష్ ఎంఎస్ జువాలజీ ఇన్ ప్రీవియస్ క్లాసెస్ వీ ఆల్రెడీ కంప్లీటెడ్ అబౌట్ ద ఈవెంట్స్ ఆఫ్ ద హ్యూమన్ రిప్రొడక్టివ్ సిస్టమ్ అండ్ ద స్ట్రక్చర్ ఆఫ్ ద టెస్టీస్ ద ప్రైమరీ సెక్స్ ఆర్గాన్స్ నౌ వీ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు డిస్కస్ అబౌట్ సిమినిఫెరస్ ట్యూబ్యూల్స్ సెమినిఫెరస్ ట్యూబ్యూల్స్ so just uh, revise once where the testis are located and where the seminiferous tubules are located so testis are present within the scrotal sac and testis are the oval shaped pinkish colored structures this is the testis okay and uh, the outer layer of the testis enter into inwards into the testis to divide the testis into testicular lobules 250 testicular lobules and every testicular lobule contains 2 to 3 highly coiled seminiferous tubules 2 to 3 highly coiled seminiferous tubules now i'm going to take one seminiferous tubule out from this testis one seminiferous tubule out or i'm going to cut this uh, one testicular lobule so if i cut the testicular lobule the testicular lobule transverse section look like this it is one lobule in this one lobule so many seminiferous tubules are present this is one seminiferous tubule not so many uh, two to three only are present but this two to three seminiferous tubules are highly coiled just imagine the tubule is like this highly coiled and like this highly coiled tubules are present 2 to 3 if we cut this is one seminiferous tubule maybe it is the fold of this a single seminiferous tubule may be folded like this okay so we can get this type of structure if we cut the seminiferous tubule now each seminiferous tubule internally lined by each seminiferous tubule internally lined by two types of cells they are spermatogonial mother cells spermatogonial mother cells the spermatogonial mother cells are like this and between the spermatogonial mother cells there is a nourishing cells called sertoli cells so seminiferous tubules lined you know we use the word lining for the saris sari lining lining means what inside if it is present outside that we call as covering if it is present inside it is lining so seminiferous tubules internally lined by spermatogonial mother cells along with the spermatogonial mother cells there is some specialized nourishing cells nurse cells are present this nurse cells are called what sertoli cells and red color cells are spermatogonial mother cells so like this spermatogonium and the yellow color cells are what sertoli cells spermatogonial mother cells undergo first meiotic division they form the primary spermatocytes primary spermatocyte undergo meiotic division primary first spermatogonium undergo mitotic division mitotic division to form the spermatocyte primary spermatocyte they undergo meiotic division forms secondary spermatocytes they undergo again second meiotic division to form spermatid spermatids are transforming to spermatozoa like this spermatogonial cells helps in the formation of the spermatozoa so it helps in the formation of spermatozoa means spermatogenesis takes place from the spermatogonial mother cells come to the sertoli cells what is the function of sertoli cells sertoli cells are also called nurse cells or nourishing cells because of this uh, function so they nourish the sperm cells and mother cells also they give nutrition they give nutrients 
to the spermatogonial cells and uh, newly formed sperm cells so i'll do one thing i'll draw the spermatocytes like a primary spermatocyte secondary spermatocyte and spermatid and uh, like spermatojova so like this so many stages are there in between the spermatojova so these are the cells which forms finally the spermatojova this nourishing cells give nourishment to the mother cells and to the sperm cells also once the sperm cells are formed they get embedded in the they get embedded in septoli cells so they are formed from the gonial cells spermatogonial mother cells and once they formed once the formation is completed their heads head of the spermatojova embedded in this uh, septoli cell embedded in this septoli cell like this like this it is the head so sperm cells are embedded in the septoli cells septoli cells give nourishment to the adjacent mother cells and they give nourishment to the spermatojova also that's why they are called nourishing cells so septoli cell function is nourishment not only the nourishment septoli cells release a hormone the hormone name is inhibin the hormone name is what inhibin inhibin to inhibit the secretion of fsh it stops the secretion of fsh follicular stimulating hormone is stopped by the inhibin now we will think logically why it is secretes the inhibin at the age of puberty or before the puberty what happened fsh is released by the pituitary gland first depending upon the environment depending upon the internal uh, thoughts internal development pituitary gland decides or hypothalamus decides to start the spermatogenesis action so it releases fsh follicular stimulating hormone that reaches the testis and testis releases the sperm cells and the sperm cells once it is formed the sperm cells are embedded in the septoli cells so septoli cells get the information from the sperm cell like okay i was already formed i'm going to take nourishment from your side and still the fsh is going to release from the pituitary gland no need of releasing the pituitary gland fsh so please stop that fsh like that sperm cells give the information to the septoli cells by taking that information septoli cells release a hormone called inhibin to stop the secretion of fsh follicular stimulating hormone this is the function of septoli cells and this is the spermatogonium okay now come out of this uh, seminiferous tubules so there is a space between the adjacent seminiferous tubules the space between the adjacent seminiferous tubules this is this space is called what interstitial space this is called what interstitial interstitial space and the cells which present in the interstitial cells is called interstitial cells the cells which present the cells which present in the interstitial space they are called what interstitial cells interstitial cells have another name that is also called what leading cells they are called what leading cells interstitial cells are also called leading cells which present in between the seminiferous tubules what is the function of leading cells actually they play very crucial role in developing secondary sexual characters how leading cells secrete androgens they secrete what androgen remember gen means generating spermatogenesis gen means what generating so what they generate they generate andro character what is meant by andro you know in plants in botany also you may hear word androsium gynesium 
gynesium is related to the female flower androsium is related to the male flower so andro means related to the male characters so leydig cells release androgens which increases the male secondary sexual characters you know the chief androgen name which is very famous the chief androgen is testosterone it is a steroidal hormone steroid it is a steroidal hormone released from the testes testosterone the steroidal hormone which is released by the testes is testosterone and it create the male characters so it is also called androgen and this androgens are released by the interstitial cells they are also called leydig cells they lead okay they are called what leydig cells they lead the male characters leydig cells and sertoli's cells stimulated by the fsh sertoli's cells stimulated by fsh to give the nourishment leydig cells get stimulated by lh luteinizing hormone stimulates this cell of course we will discuss about the hormonal action also hormonal feedback mechanisms in the next class in the further classes first simply so i just revise entire thing what i discussed up to now testes are present in the scrotal sac each testis is covered by a tunica albuginea tunica albuginea involves into the testis to divide the testis into uh, 250 lobules testicular lobules every lobule contain 2 to 3 seminiferous tubules and every seminiferous tubule internally lined by spermatogonial cells and sertoli cells spermatogonial cells uh, helps in uh, spermatogenesis spermatogenesis and uh, sertoli cells uh, give nourishment to the sperm cells and mother cells also and in between the two adjacent uh, seminiferous tubules the space is called interstitial space which contain interstitial cells they are also called leydig cells which releases the androgen the chief androgen name is testosterone okay and another more important point in between this space remember in every tissue space there is a immuno competent cells are present to protect the tissue there is some immuno competent cells are present this cells they are the immuno of course they are not in star shape but uh, just want to remember as this star cells are present to protect every tissue so here also interstitial cells uh, in interstitial space uh, this heroes heroes means uh, which are going to protect the tissue this heroes are present the heroes are nothing but uh, immuno competent cells immuno competent cells clear this is about seminiferous tubules and seminiferous tubules once the sperm cells are produced from here all the sperm cells all the sperm cells leave they leave the seminiferous tubules and enter into a network of capillaries a network of capillaries very important the network okay i'll try to draw it more broadly more large size so if it is the seminiferous tubules like this on all the seminiferous tubules uh, gives the sem semen gives the sperm cells uh, into a network the network is like this the network of capillaries the network of capillaries is called what so all the seminiferous tubules gives to the network of capillaries it is called what rete testis it is called what rete testis so the sperm cells uh, release from the sertoli cells uh, release from the seminiferous tubules and reach the rete testis from the rete testis uh, they enter into vasa efferentia very very important it is called what vasa efferentia i already mentioned about the efferentia in frog male reproductive system wherever you find the word efferentia efferentia that is the tubule which take that information to the main body 
towards the main body that is efferentia. Away from the main body is efferentia. So like uh, if we compare this with the heart, artery and vein. Towards the heart, veins are efferentia. Away from the heart, arteries are efferentia. Like that. Of course, they are not. We are not using that word for the artery and venous system. But to understand the the perfect meaning for A and E, so they carry the sperm cells away from the testis. So vasa efferentia. And this vasa efferentia opens into epididymis. They opens into what? Epididymis, which is further divided into carpet, corpus. And the cada epididymis. So we will discuss about that epididymis complete structure and their function in the next class. Thank you.